subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates haryana one of the many states in india experiencing a spike in covid cases was put under night curfew by state health minister anil vijay on 12th april by implementing a night curfew from 9 pm to 5 am the state aims to battle the rise of covid cases with positive cases rising to 3845 in a single day on 13th of april the healthcare officials believe this second surge could be severer than the previous one the print visited karnal district one of the worst hit districts in north haryana and the constituency of haryana chief minister manohar lal khatter to understand the sudden spike in covid cases and how well equipped the district health infrastructure is to tackle the future challenges so we are at the civil surgeons office in karnal and now we are going to speak to mr yogesh sharma who is also the cmo of the district to know how well prepared the district is and what could be the possible reasons for this recent surge सर्ज हुआ है जैसे इन कोविड की इस वेव में उसी तरह करनाल में भी पिछले कुछ दिनों से रादर मिड फेबररी से बहुत केसेस का सर्ज यहाँ पे भी हुआ है और रीसेंट पास्ट में जो हमारी लगभग लास्ट अगर हम टू वीक्स की बात करें तो केसेस में बहुत तेज़ी से बढ़ोतरी हुई है और हम हम कहीं ना कहीं पॉजिटिविटी रेट जो अभी हमारा ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन के बीच में इस वक्त हो रहा है तो इस वक्त केसेज काफ़ी ज़्यादा आ रहे हैं Patients testing positive for COVID go to Kalpana Chawla Government Medical Hospital which is a COVID dedicated hospital in Karnal. Last year, according to KC GMC nodal officer Dr. Abhinav Dagar, the percentage of COVID patients with CT value or cycle threshold less than 20 were far less compared to this year. To know more about the seriousness of the second COVID wave, the Prince spoke to the director of the hospital, Dr. Jagdish Chandra Dureja. Now, virus cases are on the rise once again across the country, and the state of Haryana is also experiencing a second wave. The Prince is in Karnal to understand how well equipped is the health infrastructure of the district, and if it is ready to manage the second wave. Definitely, the infectivity is much higher than this the previous year. and the previously uh, during the same month we were having near about the 100 usually this patient now in this uh, second phase we are having on an average 150 patient at present we are having 150 patient admitted to our kc gmc karnal and uh, out of these uh, this uh, around 9 patient they are on the ventilator and 38 patient they are on the high flow oxygen So comparatively I can say now this wave is much severe than the previous one. Health experts attribute Haryana's proximity with Punjab and Delhi to rising covid cases. Karnal which is situated 120 km far from the national capital is on the GT road which is a part of NH1 and passes through several districts of North Haryana connecting with Punjab. The cases in Punjab are also surging sharply due to high presence of UK strain. Dr Dhruva Chaudhary the head of pulmonary and critical care medicine department at post graduate institute of medical sciences rohtak also attributed the rise to proximity with punjab and the opening up of schools and colleges according to him the first surge in haryana hit areas located cheek by jowl to delhi like gurugram rohtak and panipat this time the surge started from karnal Kurukshetra spreading to Yamunanagar and Panchkula which is on the GT road belt. Chaudhary also said that in this surge young people are being affected more and what Haryana is experiencing could be the third wave. The positivity rate in the district in January was 1.13 which further declined to 0.91 in February the lowest positivity rate since August. However, the test positivity case rose up to 5.64 in March this year as 2986 people were found positive. It is definitely more infectious jo dekhne mein aa raha hai. Pehle jab bhi family mein ek 
पॉजिटिव आते थे तो वो बाकी फैमिली मेम्बर्स ज़्यादा अफेक्ट नहीं हो रहे थे अब अब जब भी देखने में आया है पूरी की पूरी फैमिली ही पॉजिटिव जब भी निकली है और इसके अतिरिक्त जो इट वॉज मोर कन्फाइंड टू द अर्बन एरियाज लास्ट टाइम एंड नाउ इट हैज़ मूव टू द दोज एरियाज जहाँ पहले केसेस बिल्कुल नहीं आ रहे थे बहुत ज़्यादा रूरल एरिया में uh, अभी केसेस ज़्यादा आ रहे हैं ऑफकोर्स uh, अर्बन में तो है ही हैं कहीं ना कहीं जो पब्लिक की तरफ से इस एकदम से गार्ड लोल किया गया है उसकी ये ये कारण है कि हमारे केसेस में सर्ज हुआ है इसके अतिरिक्त बिकॉज ऑन इट इज़ ऑन जीटी रोड तो हमारे जो पड़ोसी नेबर्स हैं अपना पंजाब का काफ़ी ज़्यादा आना जाना रहा है काफ़ी यहाँ पे रुकते भी रहे हैं लोग उसके कारण भी सर्ज का काफ़ी इफेक्ट रहा है Dr Sharma also said that the public load its guard too soon and the lack of covid appropriate behavior along with vaccine hesitancy also affected the rate of infections Amid many challenges KCGMC has been trying to expand its health infrastructure After this hospital was turned into a dedicated covid hospital for Karnal in 2020 district authorities had shifted three major departments of the hospital namely gynecology orthopedics and surgery to the civil hospital however the non covid services were resumed in the hospital after the decline in the number of cases in january but with the number surging again the hospital shut down elective surgeries and is expanding its bed capacity for critical patients However the senior health officials of the district believe that despite the surge the health infrastructure is adequately equipped to handle the case load no, we we are well prepared okay. we have uh, around 100 icu beds which are well equipped with the ventilators this monitor we have liquid oxygen uh, we can treat uh, more than 250 patients simultaneously mm-hmm. if they are on oxygen and all these 536 bed most of them more than 400 bed they are attached with the oxygen so we are well prepared as far as this uh, uh, ventilator is concerned oxygen is concerned or the plasma is concerned or we have multidisciplinary team also mm-hmm. which regularly keeps a watch on the all the patients we have counselors also we have dietitian so everything is well managed we have approximately 536 beds and uh, out of these 536 uh, 250 bed they are specially dedicated to the covid patient okay we have in addition to it we have dedicated this uh, plasma bank is there uh, where we used to collect the plasma from this uh, covid exposed patient and uh, we have uh, specialized this sampling area also and which is situated away from the casualty and also we have dedicated covid labs where the uh, regularly we are going to have this 1800 to 2000 samples which we are uh, reporting daily another critical challenge the hospital faces is the lack of manpower the leaves of healthcare workers have also been cancelled in the hospitals and new openings have been floated for recruitment uh, staff they are coming positive and uh, once the staff they come positive obviously they go to the quarantine and they their this uh, high risk contact they also go on mm-hmm. so otherwise we were having a good number of staff but because of posit- positivity definitely we are facing less number of this staff and still we are able to manage uh, i think if our all the healthcare staff they take precaution so we will not going to have problem especially in managing the covid patient and this covid scenario and is the hospital tra- planning to recruit more uh, uh, specialists yes this activity is going on we have already requested our the director medical education to recruit more specialist mm-hmm. to m- recruit more uh, our duty medical officer w- which are specially trained in this uh, management of this covid patient also we are asking for the staff nurses also and the paramedical staff also Despite challenges the district authorities and nodal hospitals worked hand in hand in the past to curb the spread of the virus and as of this year both bodies have planned coordination to make sure that covid cases remain under control one of the ways to control the surge is vaccination against the virus yes vaccination is also going at our institute and uh, our dedicated team is there and on an average more than 100 they are the vaccine they are the uh, being given to the beneficiaries and uh, initially we had a you know less response from the beneficiaries now we are having a average good number of the beneficiaries they are coming about 
So are the, the beneficiaries that you're talking about are they also coming from rural areas or is it just urban? No, this uh, they are not coming from the rural area. The initially they were about from this healthcare workers. Now it has been open to the uh, general public also. They are from the Kar- uh, Karnal urban area. They are less from the rural area. We have this uh, other vaccination centers in the rural area, in the sub center, in the uh, GH, or in this uh, our community health center. So there the vaccination drive is also going on. However, the family members of infected COVID patients that the prince spoke to expressed that they were never keen on getting vaccine. Twenty-year-old Karthik, whose grandmother is admitted to the government hospital in Karnal due to COVID, said that most of the old people in his village are averse to vaccination. वो दादी को शुगर और वो उसकी बीमारी थी ना तो नहीं लगवाई। तो आपको लगा कि उससे बीमारी और वो हो जाएगी? बिल्कुल जी बैक वैक्सीन हार्ड ये तो हर एक को हो रही है जो भी जो बंदा वैक्सीन लगा रहा है उसको कुछ ना कुछ थोड़ा नहीं हम नहीं ये नहीं कहते कि वैक्सीन गलत है वैक्सीन सही भी है बट एक बुजुर्ग आदमी को जिसको दिक्कत है उसको और ज़्यादा दे वो एक हार्ड चीज़ उसको दे रहे हैं तो उसको दिक्कत आ सकती है इसलिए इस डर में नहीं लगवाई हाँ वो तो है बीमारी वो बीमारी इसलिए हो जा रहे हैं जहाँ तक मतलब थोड़ा ये मेरे को डीपली तो पता नहीं बाकी ये कह देते हैं कि जो वैक्सीन है वो थोड़ी हार्ड है जो अगर थोड़ी लाइट होती तो भी सब लगवाते जो हार्ड है तो वो असर कहीं ना कहीं तो कर निकालती है अपना हार्ड ऐसे का क्या मतलब है मतलब कि वो असर बीमार कर देती है हाँ बीमार नहीं नहीं बेहोश का तो मैडम पता नहीं यही है कि बीमार करती ही करती है कुछ ना कुछ निकलता ही है उसके बाद उसको लगवाने के बाद कोई बुखार वगैरह वगैरह The district administration is working to tackle the prevailing vaccine hesitancy, especially in rural areas. Uh, yeah, definitely, there are certain pockets where uh, hesitancy. तो नहीं कहेंगे कि लेकिन एक एक moment इस तरह की माहौल बनाया जा रहा है जिससे कि लोगों को discourage किया जाए वो करने के लिए वो कुछ ऐसे तत्व हैं जो उसके लिए भी आज भी जैसे हमने district administration में के साथ इसके बारे में हमने कुछ village identify किए हैं जहाँ पे कुछ ऐसे elements हैं जो कि लोगों को रोक रहे हैं या डिस्करेज कर रहे हैं आगे आके वैक्सीनेशन करवाने के लिए उनकी एक लिस्ट जो है पूरे विलेज विलेजेस की हमने एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के साथ शेयर करी है एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने भी उसी इमीडिएटली ऑर्डर्स दिए हैं जो हमने हमारे बी डी हैं ब्लॉक ऑफिसर्स हैं जो उनको कि वो सारे इस चीज़ों को देखेंगे जहाँ पर भी ऐसी कोई दिक्कत आती है तो उनको सारे मेयर्स ले लोगों को इनक्रेज करेंगे और मैक्सिमम वैक्सीनेशन इन दिनों में करवाएंगे फॉर द प्रिंट This is Ujjata Bharatwaj with Unnati Sharma reporting from Haryana.